We're now at the Papayete Airport. We made it in last night. Our first flight is to Morea. Let's go! In this video, we'll show you the top 10 things to do on this incredible island. If you do just one thing on Morea, I think going on a snorkeling tour should be that thing. From my experience, black tip reef sharks are known for being pretty shy in most parts of the world, but this is not so in the waters off Morea. Fishermen used to come and clean their fish in the lagoon, and this attracted the sharks and pink whip stingrays that you see everywhere. You're not supposed to feed the wildlife here, but obviously enough people still do, that if you go on a snorkeling tour, you're pretty much guaranteed to see stingrays, reef sharks, and other fish. If you're lucky, maybe some bigger sharks, turtles, eels, you name it. whales. Coming eye to eye with such an intelligent, gentle giant was one of the most life-changing experiences I've ever had. Every year from July to November, humpback whales come to the warm waters off Morea to mate and give birth, and it's possible to swim with them. singing, we saw a mother and a baby with her escort, we saw whales cruising from one side of the island to the next. The whole thing was magical and while you're not guaranteed to see a whale on each trip, just the potential of being able to do so is more than worth it. One thing to keep in mind is that not all tour operators are created equal on Morea. Sadly, some let their guests jump in the water and chase the whales and this was really disheartening to see. If you do choose to swim with the whales, choose an operator that only goes in small groups and keeps their boat a respectable distance, at least 100 meters from each whale. Today we are going on a magical tour of Morea, which should take us to the top of Magic Mountain. We're gonna see if it's actually magical and we're gonna try some distilled fruit juices. Is it called that? I think so. Yeah. Alcohol. alcohol and fruit juice. Alcohol and fruit juice, potentially combined. So let's go. We are on a tour with Frankie Frank. Many of Maria's best sites are only accessible by four wheel drive and car rental companies won't really let you take their car along these roads. So in that case, the best way to see them is on a tour. Hannah and I wanted to see all the main sites of Morea, so we took a tour with Franck. He's a French tour guide with a penchant for R-rated humor. Super big personality, super funny, super welcoming, and honestly one of my favorite tour guides in all of French Polynesia. If you're coming with little ones, they might get some of his jokes, but uh, yeah, they have to learn somehow, hey. First on our list of things to see in Morea is Magic Mountain a beautiful hilltop with views of both of Morea's bays. After a bumpy ride. What a crazy bumpy ride. We're nearly to the top of Magic Mountain. If you don't have a car and you're not planning to join a tour, you can also walk to the top of Magic Mountain. It takes about an hour to get up and about half hour to get down. Come early in the morning to beat the heat and humidity. So that crazy ride up showed this view, which I think is worth it. That view was awesome. Also on the list, 
tasting Maria's tropical fruits. Rumor has it that Maria has the sweetest pineapples in the world, and you're going to want to try them for yourself either at Tropical Fruits Maria or at one of the roadside market stalls. You tree leaf, and you do the very fast plate. And put your nasset with your fruit, your fish, your vegetables. You manger it with your mains. With your end, I love that. You don't manger it with your mains. First, alors the green part is a plate. Ça c'est l'assiette. And the clear one, little bit more scratch. La partie claire, un peu plus uh, scratcheuse. And this is hop là. Uh, PQ, papier toilette, ok? Uh, alors, first plate and after uh, papier toilette. <laughs> D'abord assiette et après PQ. Huh? Uh, one leaf sometimes is not sufficient. One leaf, uh, is, is, look like lotus, it's better you put two leaves, it's more strong. And uh, be careful, yeah, be careful. Attention, je suis sérieux. If you eat the fish, tu manges les poissons. Be careful, it's not the rest on the bond. Attention, qu'il reste pas une arête, because after the. Oh! Les morroïdes, ça va s'y Non, faut faire gaffe, faut be careful. Huh? Okay. It's called a puro, hibiscus sauvage. There's vanilla, papayas, passion fruits, bananas, mangoes. Get ready to feast on whatever's in season. The food après tu les récoltes, the baby one start again. Il y a un bébé qui part au pied. The same plant starts the new fruit. Paf, tellement d'after new fruit. Dis-moi après nouveau fruit. A little bit small, un peu plus petit. The first fruit, 14 months is big, look like that. 14 mois, il est gros comme ça. Second fruit, tellement after. Deuxième fruit comme ça, dis mois après. Number three, look like that, tellement after. Numéro 3 comme ça, bien. Et number four, look like that, 4 mois, enfin 10 mois après, 4 et comme ça. One plant give for your production. Quatre, une plante donne 4 ans de production. After 4 years, the last fruit is very small, le dernier fruit est tout petit. Et the land is very poor de nitrogen, ça sera très pauvre en azote. The land stays sleeping for 1 year, la terre est en jachère pendant un an. If you liked how Marais pineapples tasted, you'll love how they look. Rumble along Pineapple Road and you'll see fields of pineapples with Marais mountains in the backdrop. Most car rental companies ban taking a car on this road, but it's a frequent stop on day tours and ATV tours. fruits are grown and how they taste, it's time to try them in alcohol form at the distillery. Mm. It tastes like pineapple juice and then like a wine after hit. <laughs> yes. Lychee or ginger? Lychee for me. And ginger for me. If you haven't noticed by now, there's beautiful views everywhere on Morea. The Belvedere is an accessible overlook where you can see both of Morea's bays. We haven't had a proper meal. We haven't had a proper meal in two days because we took flights Saturday. Then Sunday was a lockdown. We did manage to score a little roll of bread too with some $14 hummus. $14 hummus. <laughs> we thought today we could go to an amazing restaurant called Snack Mahana, but it's closed on Mondays. So we're gonna find some fruits and hopefully go there tomorrow. I was too hungry to record what we ate. I think I just woofed it down as soon as it came. But trust me, you are gonna to wanna to come to Snack Mahana. The views are good, the food is good, and it did get really busy right around 12, so I'm glad we came early. We are here at Snack Mahana, which is supposed to be one of the best restaurants on the island. People say get here before 12.30, which we did. We're here right at 11, and it's completely empty. And we're ready to enjoy a beautiful lunch over the water. up in an overwater bungalow. 
If you're on a budget, you could spend just a few nights at a pension, which is a guest house that's usually pretty affordable, and then spend a night or two at an overwater bungalow resort. Minava Resort is one of the more affordable options, and it's within walking distance of restaurants and cafes and shops, so you're in a pretty good location if you don't want to rent a car. checking into our bungalow at Minava Resort on Morea. We have a beautiful view of the mountains and inside here's what we'll find. The room, a second day bed, a viewpoint of fish below, and a patio that overlooks the water. It's so beautiful. We have a balcony down in the there. Ooh, this is our room. See you soon. Now it's time to make some flower crowns. the cord around. This is how it's coming along. It's this so is Hannah's. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> this is pineapple champagne, which has to be drink super cold for it to keep its pineapple flavor. They make it out of a distillery here in Morea, and it's very tasty. So this pineapple wine starts off pretty sweet, but after a few seconds, it has a bit of a tangy, bubbly aftertaste. <laughs> it's real good. a beautiful little potential shallow little wave <laughs> very little off of Maria this is Hannah Woo. she's charging we just rented a car to do a lap of Maria and found this beautiful lookout point called Belvedere de Toatea and you can see the Sofitel Hotel below, some stand-up paddlers, and just look at these incredible blues. Go for a hike. While it's tempting to stick to the beautiful beaches and lagoons, you'll want to head into Morea's interior. Many hiking and mountain biking trails start at the Belvedere Lookout. You'll walk through tropical forests past ancient ceremonial sites called Moray. One of my favorite hikes is called the Three Cocos Hike, a four mile out and back trail that leads to panoramic views of both of Morea's bays.
Those are my top 10 things to do on Morea. But if you want more ideas, click the link in the description below. It'll take you to my guidebook that's filled with things to do, see, and places to stay, where to eat, everything you need to know about Morea and other islands in French Polynesia. Other than that, hit that subscribe and come along with us to Bora Bora next.